Hello, dear friends, dear friends, Earthlings and others. I'm just thinking, the tree doesn't look as bad as I thought it did. It's just all kind of gnarled and wonky, which was my intent from the start. Still want more uh, greenery around the ends of the, the big fork branches. So, we are now within the, um, the Victorian house. Which I will probably stop calling Victorian at some point because it's really not very Victorian. Um, I filled in the frame, uh, more or less with the shape we're going for, and I've started putting in walls. Uh, you may have noticed last video I had this thing here. Um, this is a uh, like a color palette. I tried a few different things. I actually cut the video because I spent half an hour looking at different colors and different combinations. So we're going for spruce wood and logs, green, brown, and yellow wool. Um, and then after I started building, I decided I needed a lighter color as well, so we're using smooth sandstone. The uh, cobblestone you see is part of the uh, original uh, drafting material. Um, it will be replaced almost entirely by spruce wood. I may make some other changes. Using oak wood for floors, for the most part. I actually miscalculated. I was intending to have four high rooms, but because I uh, did... Uh, I jumped four per, per level, I wound up with three high rooms. It's a bit more cramped looking than I expected. Um, I think it's too late to do much about that. Uh, you may note I have not put any windows in. That is standard for me. Um, unless I'm really at a loss at you know for materials, I will build the walls solidly and then add the windows later. Because uh, it helps me find the shape of the building. Ah, oh, it's going to be quite nice. Alright, so if you can't see, the first floor has this wing that I've added, um, which I think I had just barely outlined at the end of the last video. The second floor is rectangular, but it leaves this part open to a porch. Uh, and the top of the wing, I believe I'm going to put a greenhouse into. The tower is there. Uh, it is probably going to get one more floor than is shown. The third floor uh, looks like it's more or less a straight rectangle at the moment. Let me see. And then the fourth floor is split by the, the, the split roof. Uh, this place should be lit up enough that nothing will spawn here, but things can shoot me from the trees. Um, as I mentioned before, the dirt... Stop. The dirt stairs are just uh, ways to get around. They're not actually necessarily when, where, and how I plan to put stairs in. So this is then the third floor, right? I had sort of not made up my mind whether the third floor was going to uh, go out over the this broad porchway. I think not. It winds up with each floor being successively smaller. And then uh, this floor, the fourth, uh, which will have a peaked roof. And then this floor will be sort of a half floor because the roof will be over it. Uh, but... I think that's a lot of wasted space if I do that. Of course, I'll be even open like that. So I may just do an eave and have this in an open glassed-in room. It also remains to be seen how I deal with the tower. Now, when I was a kid, one of the bazillion houses I lived in had a tower. And the tower itself didn't have, like, its own stairway or anything. It was just sort of attached to the house, and uh, that corner of the house had a tower room. 
uh, on each floor. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Uh, it's a little weird. I don't know, I think once I have the walls put together, it will seem to make more sense, at least from the inside. Uh, and from the outside, well, we shall see. So there are a couple different ways to put together a house at this stage. You can um, fill in the walls, as I have done. And then from the outside, put in windows where there should be windows, and balconies where there should be balconies. Or you can fill in the rooms inside and the, put your, your windows and balconies in ways that make sense uh, for, the, for that. I am split on how I want to do that. I did, however, take a journey to the nether. I've got some nether brick, and I think the uh, the main peaked roof I want to do in uh, nether brick. Uh, nether brick stairs, um, and I think I'll want nether brick slabs, because it's going to be... Well, I don't know. We'll see. Did I... I should probably start bringing my stuff in. So, yeah, the, um, the coloration of the walls may be a bit strange, and I, I suppose I could change the yellow out for sandstone. It would be less, uh, I don't know, garish. Well, Victorians are sometimes quite garish. I'm not entirely sure this is uh, quite what I'm looking for here. Uh, these pillars probably will go. I think the tower will stand on its own strengths. Um, inside, we're pretty safe. There's no entrance um, from the first floor. There's no entrance from the second floor. Unless they spawn out here. I suppose I should check that. Or I suppose they could spawn on a tree. So I may want to put a... Uh... Is that a creeper in my protected road? It is clearly not as protected as I had thought. When I'm only, like, rushing through on horseback, it doesn't have to be as safe, because it takes a little while um, for things to start spawning in the, uh, in the chunks I have loaded. And the road was far enough away from both my house and the, uh, the town of Curiosity to uh, generally be unloaded. I see a zombie's shirt there. Uh, so, there's some nice looking houses over there in Curiosity. There's the Birch Forest, the same one that wraps around Storyland Cove. Now, um, Miss Sporkalicious, Lady, Lady Count, Count Lady, Lady Count Sporkalicious, have put a sign on the road saying, uh, I think, Story Ridge. Or Storybrook, Storybrook, and I kind of like that. And I'm considering going around and changing all my signs to say Storybrook instead of Storyland. Storybrook sounds more like a place. Storyland sounds like an amusement park, and it is, or it used to be, in Keene, New Hampshire, if memory serves. Definitely in New Hampshire. Keene, New Hampshire, was in the news recently because they requisitioned a tank. <laughs> Tiny little town. Like, probably less than 2,000 people. And they requisitioned a tank because um, it, the police department requisitioned a tank. Because they felt they might be a terror target because they had uh, cultural relevance or, or some such. And uh, they... They claimed that there was uh, a real fear that terrorists might strike their uh, their annual pumpkin festival. Now, whether they got the tank or not, I don't know. Normally, I would have laughed at the idea, but um, 
<laughs> there's definitely been a trend uh, for some time now of uh, leftover military gear winding up in uh, civilian police uh, departments and not always with any real modicum of um, shall we say common sense all right so third floor I'm gonna I'm gonna lose track of what floor I'm on from time to time just forgive me first floor second floor is gonna be all this this green and tan uh, I'm actually not sure if there's ever gonna be a good place to get a, a good vantage of, of the entire house just like really only the top of this house is gonna be visible neener nee 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 that's quite nice. We get some nice views here, don't we? Snapshot that. That's very nice. Okay, so I haven't done anything even remotely practical. Once it's dawn, once it's finished becoming dawn, I will hop out on the trees. A little more dawn, please. Gosh, that's a nice looking house, isn't it? Man, I was kind of hard on myself for that, but you know, it's, it's, it's actually really quite nice. And that's a nice house. And this is going to be a nice house. I do promise I'll get back to the 1.8 uh, survival game. Uh, what you're going to get with me is a bunch of different stuff, and I'm probably not going to split it into different series, as some YouTubers do. Uh, I guess, unless they get really big. Like, if I get folks who come to me only looking for the survival, and they don't want the uh, cube realm stuff, fine. I can split that up. Right now, the video, uh, as of this recording, on my channel that has the most hits, is 7,000-some on a video on how to make a parking garage. This was a while ago, and the uh, quote-unquote technology was pretty darn simple. Essentially, you throw a piece of paper into a little hole, and it has a, a pressure plate. Uh, and so, like, dropping your, your ticket in there. Uh, actually, let's see. You enter it, you press the button, you get a ticket, and the gate opens. And then on the way out, you drop your ticket in the hole, and the gate opens to let you out. It's not incredibly complicated. It's all done with pressure plates and droppers, or uh, dispensers. I think it was pre-dropper. That's got about 7,000 views on it. If, uh, if I start getting more than that, I'll, I'll be surprised. Ow. Uh, in a fit of optimism today, I looked up how to do monetization. So, while I'm experimenting with that, you may see some of those translucent overlay ads. Uh, I am most likely going to make about a, enough for a cup of coffee if I'm lucky. That is sort of standard with me. I've done a few interesting creative projects that have made me a couple pizzas worth. But I do them because I have fun. And it is nice to make even just a little bit. Okay, so there's the shape of the building. It's a little church-shaped, isn't it? I'll have to be careful with that tower that it doesn't look too steeply. Well, there's nothing particularly wrong with a church. We could do a church in the forest. A lot of the clearings I'm making as I build, I'm going to replant, because I really want things to be in the forest. Um, I did go back, by the way, to uh, Aurum to get my, my pension. It was there this time. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, it was some emeralds and a quest token or a quest orb or I, uh, you know, the quests are one of the better things about this server and I haven't done a single one. And then I found a treasure chest which had uh, cobwebs and some quest related stuff. But I grabbed it because, you know, why not? Do I have some cobwebs? I may do quests at some point, but right now it's just not what interests me most. 
What interests me most is building stuff, making a town. I didn't quite realize it, but I'm butting right up against this little garden-y thing. It's okay. Uh, this is a natural... natural... Uh, obsidian pool. Obviously lava under it. Just found it that way. Prettied it up a little. Okay. Uh, now, that, that climbing the... Strange. Why would why would I do my greenery like that? It doesn't make any sense. Although I am probably gonna add some more greenery just for the privacy screen. All right, I hear you, you dumb thing. It's daylight. Go away. Right, right, right. So. Uh, there's a zombie there. I'm trying to make up my mind. What do I want? Got yellow, brown, green. What do I want to do for the next floor, color-wise? Maybe... Let's do two green and one... Either yellow or brown on top. Let's do the walls in green on the next floor. Uh, I'm using wool because I have a sheep farm full of col colored wool. If I had had uh, a lot to play with, I'd probably have used clay. It's because it's got more muted colors. I like building with it, uh, and to be perfectly honest, it's it's a newer material, so it's novel and interesting. Hmm. Not sure how to do the tower here. do the tower just in sandstone. Uh, the cobble really makes it look like crap. It really, really does. I'm going to do... But when I start replacing it... Not oh, spruce wood. Not another brick. Uh, when I start replacing it with the uh, spruce wood... Yeah, that works starts looking pretty sharp, if you ask me. More brown wool than that. There. So, that's how this stage of the uh, building process goes, for me, anyway. And so now, I decide... Will I just keep doing this? Make you watch? Will I cut? Make you watch, you know. I have a nice chat about something. Let's see what's going on in the world that I feel like talking about. There's a lot going on in the world that I really don't feel like talking about. A lot of current events are fairly upsetting, frankly. As of the time of this recording. Uh, a lot of people are freaking out over the acquisition of Mojang. Mojang by Microsoft, which by my understanding is in process, not yet complete. So by the time you see this, it will either be a done deal or will have fallen through, and quite possibly we'll already know if it was the horrible thing some people fear. I'm guessing, pretty firmly, firm guess, that everything will be fine. Honestly. Microsoft is no longer quite the big evil entity it once was, if only because 
the great white hope of uh, Google has turned out to be just as bad. You know, they've all got good points and bad points. And while it's possible for a gigantic corporation to go very bad, it's also unlikely for them to go very, very bad, simply because... I was going to make netherrack stairs so I could build... Oh, well. Uh, simply because... It's bad business. Simple as that. Uh, maybe I'll do the top one out of spruce wood planks. Just the whole floor. What do you think? That sound good to you? It's got a dark, fairly dark floor. Huh. I think that's what I'll do. Um, though I'm still not sure what this floor will be. Do I have the spruce wood planks to do it? No. Do I have spruce wood spruce? I do. Huh. I will need more. I think my dump chest down below has more. So this will be uh, spruce planks with spruce logs on the beams. I don't know if I'm going to... Stop. And this is the only floor that's got all three blocks high the same material. It's half floor. Gosh, I wish I could think of what I want to do here. I know that's not it, but I'm going to leave it there for stairs. Alright, let's go pick up some blo blogs. Pick up some spruce blogs. I have a touch of a cold that I'm almost over, if you can hear that. Well, there you go. There it is. Hmm. This mob junk. Then... Spruce, spruce, there's some planks, dark oak, 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 why are you not together? Uh, acacia, birch, I've been farming some acacia because I like the, the gray logs, not the, uh, not the orange part, mind you. Well, I could have sworn we had more spruce than that. Getting dim. Am I alone? I'm not alone. Bloop is, as usual, AFK. And making it so I can't sleep. Well, I can sleep, I just can't make the night go away. Because the night belongs to love. Right, so we know we need nether brick stairs. Yeah, we might as well take the whole thing. It's relatively easy to mine. I thought I had more nether brick, too. Ugh. It took like a day off uh, between this and the last recording. And I've suddenly forgotten what I was doing and where things are. Alright, we got dirt. We need dirt. Dirt. So, I'm going to come up here. What do you reckon? It's always kind of a trade-off. Do I put in lots and lots of dirt? Which will make it, you know this much scaffolding will I... Oh. But I'm going to want the bottom one there, not there. Oh, no, I guess I can do that. Here, let's do this. So what we're going to do is this, 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 this. Do mobs spawn on stairs? This. 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 Then all the 
way across.